We are back with another 151 update video. We're gonna cover singles and sealed product. Some of it is cooling off, some of it is starting to take off again, and some of it is at all time highs. But we are gonna start with the Charizard EX number 199. And after this big run up in October, went to 217, 220 a card pretty quickly too. It cooled off, it went all the way down to around 179-ish, and it's on a little bit of a run. The three month chart's looking pretty good, 63% growth. The one month chart is actually down a little, but it is it has bounced off this point here. Last solds, 184, there's a 250 sale, 193, 196, and another 200 sale down here. So it looks like this card is definitely on its way up to that $200 point again. It's just a matter of time. There are 90 listed on TCG Player currently. Also, I do think it's important to note that when it had this big run up, that's when it had the most sales. Just wanted to point that out. So yeah, that's the Charizard. It's looking 151, you know, it had to cool off for a little bit, especially the singles. Usually when cards run up like that quickly, they, they cool off after a while. And that's what we're seeing. The Blastoise, kind of similar, although it's fallen off a little bit more. It ran up from about $50 all the way up to 77. It's still showing 28% gains on the three month chart. So not bad gains there on the one month it's down because it's it's still kind of, it seemed like the cards were following the Charizard. And that's not really a big surprise. You know, kind of like with Evolving Skies, the, the Moonbrion does its thing and everything follows-ish. You know, not exactly, but kind of, right? So the, the Blastoise could be bouncing back from 63 up to 67 maybe however last sold there's a 63 but then some 65 62 so we'll see it's just one of those one of those ones where it might just take a little bit longer looks like the low on this card was around 40 bucks so even if you bought it at 40 and you're at 60 you're sitting pretty good there then we will take a look at the venusaur 48 percent on the three month chart so once again same thing looking good it went from 76 was the high and it went down to 62 and this one looks like it has bounced off of that uh that price point 68 65 65 last sold there's a 75 in here as well 93 of these listed on tcg player as well the one month chart still shows down 16 percent because it was up here so yeah 62 dollars is where it bounced off we'll zoom out to the one year you'll see obviously coming off of its all-time high here Right, so these cards are not at all time highs, but we got a few coming up. I believe this next card is as well. So this the Pikachu, it's, I, I was wondering, you know, Surging Sparks, right, Pikachu set. We talked about, can it bring other Pikachu cards? I actually didn't really think of the 151. I was thinking more of like some of the Lost Origin Pikachu cards, right? But I would assume that this is related to that. It is up 22% in the past three months. It was at $27, it came all the way down to 24, and now it's at 28. One month chart showing growth as well, 13%. We'll zoom out to the one year. So 27 down, so add a one year high here. The one year low is $15, so 15 to 20, 27, 28, pretty good gains there. Last solds, 20, 23, 24, but then a whopping, of, there's a 44 here. So I don't know what that is. That might be an anomaly there. Uh, 223 of these cards currently listed on TCG. Then we have the Alakazam, which is looking real good. Underrated SIR, right? Uh, I I like this card. This card is great. I, everything about this card is fun. Um, it is 28% up on the three-month chart. It's kind of at $41-ish. They have the current market over here at 40 so it looks like it might be coming down off of this high a little bit. The one month chart shows 10% growth. The one year is kind of where you can see it's at pretty much at a one year high. However, the last sold seem like they're coming down. 33, 38, 41, 37 for Alakazam. We'll see where this one ends up. This is, like I said, under underrated, undervalued card. This is, this is a fun one. Another one that I still think, I've talked about this every single video of 151, still extremely undervalued. In my opinion, this card should be higher. It's just because I absolutely love everything about this card. The three legendary birds. As a Gen 1 guy, you know, it just gets me. But similar chart-ish, 22% growth on three months. Its high was around 52. 
went down to 45 but bounced off to 48. The one month chart shows 2% down to one year, obviously. So this was the one year high, 159 copies, last sold 43, 43, 57, 46, 46. Um, we have some sealed product towards the end of the video. So if you wanna see what the sealed's doing, just wait one second, we're almost there. The Charmander, it's 35% up. It had a run up to 46, went back down, went back up to 47, and now it's down a little. Last sold, this has to be Japanese, so 42, 42, 39. We'll see where the Charmander ends up as well. Coming off of its one year high, not really a big surprise there. Also super random, <clears throat> Um, if you guys are interested in a giveaway, we are approaching, we're getting close-ish to 10K. At 10K, we're gonna do a pretty big giveaway. Uh, we'll probably do, this is what I'm thinking, um, three three winners like we did at 5K, we did three winners. I think first place will be probably, mm, maybe Surging Sparks booster box, uh, maybe 151 Japanese box for second, and like a PSA 10 of some sort for third. That's kind of what I'm thinking. If you guys want to enter, you have to be subscribed, and I'll post a dedicated video about that later. So if you guys want to, if you're this far in the video and you're not subscribed, just a reason for you guys to subscribe. Then we have the Squirtle coming off of a high here, 52% uh, gain on the three-month chart. So that's, Squirtle card's still looking good. Even 14% in the past month, looking pretty solid. 83% in the past year, coming off of its one-year high. Then we have, so this is the, the Charizard, the, the full art here. This looks like a little bit more steady growth right, just kind of chugging up the ladder. 18% in the past three months, 6% in the past month, and it looks like it just come off, came off a one-year high as well. Last sold 43, 35, 37, and a 50. TCG has this market at around 40 bucks. That's the Charizard. Okay, this, we got two more singles here that we're gonna touch on. This is the Bulbasaur. He's a cute little, I, I wanna say he's sleeping. I don't know, the way his eyes are, he's either in pain or he's sleeping. We're gonna go with he's sleeping. 41% growth though in the past three months. This card's been at like kind of near this high, 35, 35, then it came down to 33, and now it's back up to 35 again. The one month chart actually is kind of flat, just barely down, barely. One month coming off of an all time high, or one year high. And last solds 41 or 42 pretty much, 33, 42. So this card could be coming up if we ignore these why are these in here? These Japanese prices, man, they have, anyways, that's my rant. They have TCG added Japanese section. Just anyways, that's my rant uh, for the Bulbasaur. Last card. This is the Snorlax, this is the Pokemon Center uh, ETB exclusive. And this card, whoo, 75% up in the past three months. This was in the 50s for a while. On the one month chart, it's still growing a little, up 2%. Zoom out to the one year. 171% growth. It, this was a low of 25 in December of last year. And as the, the ETBs exploded, obviously so did the card. It's pretty much a $100 card and pretty massive growth. With, when the PC ETBs are exp as expensive as they are, and you'll see that, we have that coming up in a second. Last sales, 100, 120, 105, 100. Now, a lot of people are getting this card if they're doing all the promos for their master set. So, you know, that's part of also what's driving. I, th I do think that 151 is, for modern, probably the most master setted set. Master setted set. I know that sounds weird coming out of my mouth, but uh, yes, I would bet a lot of money that it's the most master setted set uh, currently. The UPCs are continuing to rocket. So this is where we're getting to some all time highs for the UPCs. Look at this growth. Just when you, you, th you thought they were cooling off, right? They ran up right here to like 200. Like that 196, it cooled off for a while, and then it was like, oh, crack 200, but then it cooled off, and now it's just absolutely taking off. 63% growth in the past three months. On the one-month chart, super solid 16%, and this is the one year where it's going to look really impressive. 146% growth. These were available at this price point or cheaper at $80, $90 at Costco, other retailers for a long time, and they are just absolutely exploding. They take up a lot of space, but... Obviously, if you got these, you're real happy with it right now, and the price just continues to climb. 230 a UPC, and we even have a 265 sale. So, with this, it's to the moon, apparently. It's just going to keep going up. At some point, it's got to stall out. I don't know when that is, but 
UPC is doing big things. This chart's really impressive. Then we have booster bundle displays, 30% 30, 30 growth in the past three months, which is pretty solid. It's not a UPC, but 18% in the past month continues to grow. The one year chart is showing we're at one year highs, two or 639, 47% growth. The low right here was 352. And yeah, so that's, that's pretty impressive. 10 booster bundles in a sealed booster bundle display. Last sold, we're seeing 620, 680, 660 on the booster bundle displays. Then we have the, so this is the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, the one that that stamped Snorlax comes out of. Now this card's actually cooled off, this card, this product has cooled off a little bit. It's still up 65% in the past three months. It ran, it looks like the high was around 226. It's barely cooled off, right? It's come down to 216 and now most recent sales 221. So in the last month, it's actually down 2%. The one year, obviously, coming off of the one year high. Just wild to think that you could have picked these up if you missed them at, if you missed them at MSRP, right? You didn't, couldn't get them from the Pokemon Center. Could have picked them up right here the, during this little time period for eighty-two, eighty-three dollars, and yeah, you would have done real well to have done that. So, yeah, listed median price is two forty-six. Uh, this is another product that will probably continue to run. Uh, at what point, I don't know. Some of this stuff will cool off eventually. It just depends on the market though. Uh, regular ETBs. I think we talked about this somewhat recently, but it's just coming off of this high right here. But 38% growth in the past three months, it cracked $100 right here, came back down, and now it's cracked 100 again. This is another thing that is going to continue to run unless or until we get a massive reprint of these. I'll talk about that, at, I'll address that at the end, kind of give my opinion, 4%, almost 5% in the past three months. And so yeah, you can see on the one year chart, one year high, once again, it's pretty much the sealed product hitting these highs. The the sealed, uh, the singles are, are not quite there. Some of them are, but uh, booster bundles, 60 bucks. They were right here, 62, they came down, now they're back up to 60. Although most recent, we're seeing a 58, but then there's 60, 60, it's a few 60s, so. $60 booster bundle, which is six packs, 17% growth here. The one month charts looking good at 13%. And one year, 56% coming off of the one year high, just a little, we'll see. So sealed product for 151, continuing to do really, really well. That's not really a surprise to me. Uh, the singles, like with the big dog, the Charizard, kind of leading the way. So we got a few other cards. I think it was the Pikachu and the Alakazam were at one year highs, so that was nice to see. Once again, I was theorizing the Pikachu, maybe from the Surging Sparks hype, I could see a scenario in which that would make sense. Um, what we're gonna what we're gonna see moving forward, and we were talking about maybe Surging Sparks and Prismatic when that comes out, taking some of the hype away from 151. I don't know, like, are thing, are these singles going to just kind of go stagnant for a little while? I don't know. It seems like we're getting ready for another run. We're kind of in, we're in a little bit of a, I feel like we're in a little bit of a lull, right? Most people who wanted their surging, as far as new releases, right? Between, so Prismatic's not till January, and we're at like mid, we're getting towards the end of November, so we got even a whole another month of December, Christmas time and stuff coming up. A lot of people who wanted Surging Sparks, they got their product, they've opened it for the most part, right? There's always exceptions people want to open more, but like, because the booster boxes are so expensive for that set, and it's prismatic, like, pre-orders, we're waiting for like more drops of that to happen, and if that doesn't really happen, and those go quick, you know, I could see like kind of a dead, a lull in the market where uh, maybe a lot of people go back to 151. So that is a scenario that could happen as well. I just, you know, it's just one of those things where the market is so crazy. It's it's kind of too hard to predict right now, if I'm being honest. So just something we'll have to keep an eye on. And yeah, that's, that's what I try and do. Uh, keep you guys updated on things that are moving, things that are hot, and the new sets that are coming out in the future. So that is going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, Obviously, you enjoyed it enough to watch 14 minutes, so uh, do do me and you a favor, hit the subscribe button. Also, that way, uh, when I do that giveaway, when we get a little closer, it will be a little closer when we get to 10K when I'll f 
when I'll fully announce it, but it'll be a dedicated video. I'll make a, a post about it as well on like the community the community tab. I'll post about it on Instagram and other places as well. So you guys shouldn't really miss that. And it'll be, even if you missed like when it came out, there'll be probably at least a few weeks where that video is live and <clears throat> you'll probably have to comment on it, uh, be subbed and comment to enter. Uh, but yeah, you'll have a, a, a period in which before we draw that you'll have a good chance. So, um, but that is going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, a little 151 update for you guys. Catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.